Hi friends, welcome to my channel VLSI Gyan. Today in this session, we will see how to run a program in Verilog program in Vivado tool, Xilinx Vivado tool. So friends, here I have Xilinx Vivado 2018.2 version. Newer versions are also available. You can check and you can download. Uh, so here we will see how to use the tool. So first of all, we need to double click on the icon, which is present in the desktop. And uh, we'll take a simple example of a multiplexer, two is to one multiplexer. Uh, and we'll see how to write the very log code in this tool and how to simulate uh, using a test bench. So friends, as we know that it is a, a multiplexer is a simple circuit where we have multi many inputs and a single output. So based on the select line, a particular input is selected and we uh, transmit that to the output. Okay, so after this, after double clicking, we get this page. So in the left side, we have quick start. Below quick start, we have create project. So as we are creating the project for the first time, we are not get opening any project which is already created. So we'll click on this icon, create project. Click on it. Then click next, give the project name. So I will give the project name as multiplex. Next, select RTL project. Next, you can clear, uh, you can add a source here or you can add after creating the project in the editor also. So next, add constraints. You can add later also. So here also we can click next. This is for selecting the board, which are there in the Vivado tool. If you want to dump the code into the FPGA, that time you need to select the specific board and specific part of that board. So as of now, we will click next. Then finish. Friends, you can see in this portion sources, we have a design source. So we click on it and we can click plus symbol. Now it is asking for add or create design source. So we'll click here, create file. You can give the name of the file. So let us give multiplexer. Or. Max two two one. Okay. Finish. Now it is asking for the input and output ports of the module. So here also you can add it or you can add it later. So in the editor. So we'll do we'll edit in the editor. So I will click here. Okay. Again. Okay. See here, it is showing updating. And after that, we'll get a file over here below the design. Yes. So we got the Verilog file, marks 2 to 1. Double click on it. And on the right side of the screen, you can see a module definition is created. Now we will add the code for it. So it is a marks, 2 is to 1 marks. As we know that for a 2 is to 1 marks, we have Two is to one marks is a very simple combinational circuit where it has a select line and based on the select line, it selects one of the inputs. So here, here two inputs are there. Suppose I will take I0 and I1. Then based on the select line, it selects the output and suppose our output is Y. So when S is zero, when S value is zero, that time, it will select I0 to the output. So output will be assigned I0. And when S is equal to uh, 1, that time I1 will be selected and it will be given to the output. 
So we'll write the code accordingly. So our inputs are, let us take I0, I1 are our inputs. And we have a select line that is S and we have an output that is Y. So this is all about the module ports. Next, we'll declare the ports. Input, inputs are our I0, again, same, I0, I1, and S, right? And then we have an output, output is Y. I'll take a simple uh, assign statement. As we have seen, when S is zero, then Y is assigned I0, and when S is one, Y is assigned I1. So I'll take that one, assign Y equal to, checking the condition for S, value of S, whether S is one, if S is one, it takes I1, else it takes I0. Simple assign statement, end module. You can see here on the right side corner of this editor that a green uh, symbol is there, green box is there, which indicates that there is no error in the code. Now, at the top of this, you have a save option. Click on it and your file will be saved. So as we all know, we need to simulate the code now by giving the inputs. So there are two methods. You can simulate this code also, or you can write the test bench. So it is always a good practice to write the test bench. So we'll go to the sources again, sources box. And here we have the simulation. So click on the simulation source and again the plus symbol. And now add or create simulation sources. Next, create file, give the file name. So we'll give marks two, two, one. And here I will add TB for the test bench. Finish. Again, it will ask for the ports that we will mention in the code itself in the editor. So now again, it is showing updating. Now you can elaborate this one and you can see that we have two to one marks TB is generated. Now we click double click on it and you can simply write the code as how you have written for the module. So here, wire, y, reg, the inputs are reg, declared as reg in the test bench. So I0, I1, and S, the three inputs, y, y is our output. Now we need to instantiate our top module. And the top module name we have given is mux221. So 221, and we can take here unit under test, DUT or any other name, whatever you want, you can take it and you have to list the ports. You have to map the ports. So here we have taken the same ports. So no need to worry about it. But if you are uh, writing another names, then you need to be very, uh, you have to check properly that you are mapping the correct ports. In the correct order. We need to put dot in front of every port mapping. Every time it will show you whether is there any error or not in the code, whichever you are writing at that particular moment, right? Now it's time for giving the stimulus. So I'll take the initial begin. Then initially we will assign every input as one tick B zero, initialized to zero. Then also I1 equal to one tick B0. And the other input is S is also equal to one tick B0. That's it. 
and we'll finish this end. Then we'll use always hash. You can use a other way also by giving values by delay giving some delays. You can add the values, but here simply I am taking this always block. Again, always hash 20. Let us take 20. I1 equal to not of I1. So values are complementing after some time. So we can change see the difference in the waveform. Always hash 10 S is assigned not of S. Right, nation begin. I will use here dollar finish to terminate the simulation. It is showing one error. 